Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the second update for the products I want to use up in 2019. I've made better progress than the first bits, the first quarter of the year. Um, at least I finished off more products, whether that is progress wise more, I don't know, but I've still got quite some work to do as well. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna be reading off here just to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, so you might see me looking down every now and then. Anyway, first category bronzers. I finished off the NYX blush in taupe, which I might have already done by the first quarter. I was really close. I don't fully remember anymore. The only kind of bronzer that I'm still working on is the bronzer in this glamour to go palette from Too Faced. Still working on this part. I've repressed it because it was completely broken up in like <laughs> this part. Um, yeah. It's going, it's not going really quickly though, because I do not use this as an actual bronzer. I'm kind of mixing it again with the blush, so it's not going very quickly. And I just, I just want to get rid of it because I don't really see a use for that. Then we have powders, and for powders I had one that I want to finish off. I'm still working on it. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Powder in Vanilla. I've got this completely crumbled up for the most part because it was starting to fall apart. So I'm not gonna tip it over too much, but yeah, I'm still working on it, but it is really close. So I'm fairly certain that one will be finished by the next time I update you guys. Then for highlighters, I had two that I wanted to finish and one that I wanted to hit pan on, and I'm pretty sure that is not gonna happen. So just to quickly show you guys, um, one that I wanted to finish off was this NARS um, highlighter in Albatross that I have just not touched a whole lot because I'm so focused on the one <laughs> that I have been working on most of the time, and that is the Snow Bunny Bronzer from Too Faced that I've repressed in here. I've got a good pit of pan on that one, as you can see, but there still is so much work to do on that one as well. Um, yeah, this is about what I did in six months' time, so um, looking at that, I don't think this is even gonna be finished by the end of this year, but I might surprise myself. Um, I've still got some highlight shades in my Panda palette right now, but if I don't have that anymore, I might actually start using this to highlight my brow bone as well, which will probably not make too much of a difference, but it might be the little bit that it needs. And then I'm also trying to hit pan on this L'Oreal uh, Glam Bronze Trio. I don't think that's gonna happen, but we'll see. Okay, then let's see, just to be sure, cream shadows. I've been doing really well here. Um, last update, I already finished off the Calvin Klein Sheer Crime Eyeshadow in Gold Velvet, which was a purpley uh, one in a thin. And now I finished off the dark side of this one as well. Um, this is still the light side that I have left, but as you can see, there really isn't that much left of this one anymore either. So this one is gonna be done fairly soon too. And once I finish this one, I only have this one left to work on. So this one will probably still be here the next time I update you guys. But I'm hoping to have some nice progress on this one by then. The other one, I think, maybe one more month or so, and then that one will be done. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really, really doing well with my cream shadows this year. I'm really getting that category down, which is really, really exciting. Then for eyeshadow quads, yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to finish this one off. I still want to finish off the black eyeshadow that is in here. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do that because I've got two blacks in my pan that palettes. Um, but I am trying to use it more. I'm actually in this eyeshadow look. I've got like black in my outer corner, some lighter black that is in my <laughs> Glamour to Go palette in my crease. And I've got black for the most part of my lids. Um, I just topped it with a pink to make it a little bit more purpley. So, I'm using black <laughs> and I'm hoping that I can at least start using this one somewhere this year. But for now, I haven't really made a lot of progress on it. Anyway, then for the next category, we have pigments. And I want to work on this Da Vinci pigment this year. Haven't really started yet just because I'm so focused on all my other eyeshadows. But hopefully I will at least start working on it at some point this year. And I will be able to tell you guys that I've used this. Um, yeah. Not for now, though. Then we have the eyeshadow palettes. Um, I just did an update on my Panda palette, or I just filmed one yesterday, so I can show you guys this as well. Um, I've got four shades left in here. I'm working really hard on this one. This is the pink shadow that I have on top of the black. This is the black that I've used as well. 
Um, I've got a nice dip kind of going on the side of this black, so there is some progress going there, but especially the silver is gonna be a hard one. I'm really hoping I can finish this one off by the end of this year though, because I've been working on that one last year already as well. Um, and then we've got the Too Faced Glamour To Go palette. I finished off two shades in here already, which I'm really excited about. And then I've hit pan in three of them. Um, I'm hoping to hit pan in these other ones fairly soon as well, but this one is moving along nicely. Still got quite a way to go because we're at the halfway point and this does not look halfway finished to me yet, but we'll see. Maybe I'll surprise myself. <laughs> then for mascaras, I had two that I wanted to work on this year. Um, I've still got this one left and that is mainly because I need to buy new ones. This is the only one that I have and I don't want to throw this away before I bought any new ones. But once I did, this one is going to be gone. So yeah, this one is definitely gone, done, gone by the next time uh, I update you guys on this project. And that will be the last mascara that I want to finish off this year. Okay, then for mascaras, we are going to lipsticks. I finished off the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipstick in Ballistic. That was the dark red that I was working on at the start of this year, but that's been gone for a little while. In the meantime, I've also finished off the NYX lipstick in Christie. Um, I was using that mostly as a cream blush just because I didn't really like it on my lips. It was a little bit too metallic-y. Um, I've now moved to this La Vie en Rose, is it? No, Lovely Rose <laughs> lipstick from Catrice as my cream blush because also this one's a little bit more on the metallic -y side so I'm using this as a cream blush at the moment. This is all that I have left on that one. Um, if I keep using it as a cream blush it's gonna take me a while to get it done but I'm consistently making progress on it. Two other products or two other lip products that I'm already making consistent progress on as well are this Clinique lipstick that is about halfway done, I'd say. And um, I'm using that quite a bit now. It's been in my Six by Summer project, but it's also in my uh, Five by Fall project at the moment. And then this one is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Charm. And that is in my Rolling um, Roulette Pan collab project. And I have managed to get the nub all the way down. So now there still is, well, there still is a good bit of product left in here. And I have to be careful with this one because it's so light. If I apply too much after each other, I get that like really light cast on my lips, but it's sheer enough. Uh, like when I apply it once or twice for it to be okay. It's kind of lip balmy in a way. So that's what I'm still working on. And then the one that I have not started yet, but because I'm working on these two already, I feel like I should definitely be able to at least start working on it and make some nice progress on it. Is this lipstick in Cedo from NYX. It is a metallic -y brown, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this once I get to using it, but we'll see when I get there. I might just decide to declutter this one because I hate it, but maybe it will be fine. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, next category is lip balms, uh, tinted lip balms to be exact. I've got two that I'm working on. One of them is this powder polish from Sleek in Avoir La Peche, in Sugar Mae from the Avoir La Peche collection. And I've got some good pan on this one. There still is a good bit of product left in here as well, but I'm working on this consistently. So hoping I can uh, get this one done, maybe even by the next quarter. I don't know, maybe I can. Um, and then the other one that I'm trying to work on as well is this Fix and Rouge Lip Balm in Mocha Orange. Um, I'm still all the way up here. I haven't really used it much, but it is in a project at the moment. So I'm kind of switching between the two. Um, although I was switching between the sleek one and another lip balm before, but that one is done. So now this one is my uh, secondary focus in a way. Then we're going on to lip glosses. Let's see. So I had the DA lip uh, fluid lip color that was kind of a lip liquid lipstick in the end when i really think about it now um, but i did finish that one off it took me forever and i did not like it very much but i paired it with other things and that worked out okay i still have four products that i'm working on because one um i accidentally dropped out of the pocket of my jacket and i don't see it anywhere anymore it's somewhere on the street it's it's gone so <laughs> that's that's that um i've still got these four that i'm working on they're all four of them are in projects, but I'm not focusing on them because I'm focusing on lip lacquers and lipsticks at the moment over 
these ones that's just what it is right now but uh, once I make some nice progress on those I will start actually actively using some of these as well I'm I'm scared for all of them because they're all pretty big packaging like the chubby ones are big but this NYX one also has how much 11 mils or 0.37 fluid ounces in here so they're all fairly big yeah we'll see where we get with those um, okay, next category would be my lip leggers. And for lip leggers, I have two that I'm trying to work on. One of them is this Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Celestial. Taking a stopper out of this one, I'm wearing this right now as well, actually. And I'm fairly close-ish on this one. So next time I update you guys, this one will be done. But then I'm also trying to work on this one. And this is just a very bright pink that is kind of leaning towards almost red even. Um, yeah, this is gonna take me some time. I don't know whether I will be able to finish this off before the end of the year, but I have started working on it with a little bit. So hopefully I can actually finish it off. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, then the lip balms, like I said, I finished off a lip balm recently and that was my Kiehl's number one lip balm. Um, so this is the only one I still have left and this is the I Love Coconut and Cream one, which is huge. So I don't think I will finish this one off before the end of the year, especially not since I'm focusing on these two tinted lip balms. It's still pretty much full as you can see. Um, but I hope to at least make a little bit of a progress in here, a little bit of progress. Um, and make a little bit of a dent? I don't know, let's see. Okay, next category is blushes. I finished off the La Vie en Rose um, blush that was in my Enchanted Glamourland palette. I think already before my last update, I think. <laughs> um, so right now I'm working on the uh, LA Colors blush in my Roulette Pan collab, in the Roulette Pan collab. collab. <laughs> and I'm also working on this blush in my Too Faced Glamour To Go palette. Um, in the Finish 5 by Fall projects. So I have hit proper pen, just to <laughs> show you guys again, in here and it's getting fairly thin on this side. For this one, my goal at the moment is to hit pen on it. And I'm, I'm getting there. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see from there, but there is a proper dip starting to form in here and I, um, I'm getting there. So I think I will definitely be able to finish those two off by the end of the year. I'm hoping to finish off the uh, Glamour To Go one by next quarter. I don't think I will be able to finish this one off by then, but hoping to finish this one off by the end of the year at least. And I don't think I will be able to finish this one off. This is the Elf Blush, uh, Mineral Blush in Joy, which is a really nice neutrally color, but I'm so focused on these other two that I haven't really reached for this too much yet. But I hope to at least be able to make some progress on this one before the end of the year. We'll see. Then we're going to concealers. And for concealers, I'm working on this Naked Skin Concealer still. I finished off my other Naked Skin Concealer. So this one is in Fair Neutral. And then the Light Neutral one I finished off, I think, over the last quarter somewhere as well. Um, so yeah, I'm still working on this one. I am somewhere around here but it's really hard to see with this one it doesn't always show me when I try to shine a light through it but uh yeah I'm I'm getting there I'm working on it and then lastly we have the eyeshadow singles I finished off my makeup forever eyeshadow in m536 536 yes that was right um I finished that one off I mainly use that in my brows and as a bronzer but I'm still trying to work on these two, which I haven't really used yet, the dark brown, I'm probably going to roll into my Panda palette rotation soon-ish. Um, I finished off the dark brown that was in there, but I've still got kind of the black that I'm trying to use in my crease to darken it up every now and then. But I might try to reach for this one a little bit more as well. And this purple one, I just haven't used yet because I'm too focused on my Panda palette. Now, this one, the Aya Corel Chalk from Catrice, I have been using. There is a little bit of a dip in here. Sorry for the light change there. Um, but this is so big. I've been using this pretty much like every single day to warm up my crease. I've done that today as well. You can barely see I've touched it. And I've been using this for six months. Almost every time I apply my makeup, which is about five times a week. So don't think I will have this one finished 
but I hope that I at least can show you very clear progress because I can see the dip but it's really hard for me to show you guys the dip in that one anyway that is it um, just to tell you guys I have now finished 12 out of the 45 products that I'm trying to finish but as you can see there's a lot of like highlights and blushes and powders and stuff in here they just take a little bit longer to work through at least for me um, so it makes sense that the number isn't too big yet and I hope towards the end of the year there will be more finished products like more that will take me a longer time to get through um, so I'm hoping that number will kind of spike up over the next quarter especially during the last one but we'll see I probably won't finish all 45 of them but that is a kind of yeah that hasn't happened uh, any of the years that I've been doing this project trying to finish everything but I hope I can get really close at least if I can get like 40 products done or maybe even 35 I would be really happy so we'll see um yeah that is it for now thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos bye bye